and this polyline will go up 18 inches, over 14, and back down 18. On top of that, I am going to make another polyline that goes over 14, down 3, over 14, and C for close. We're going to be doing that to create the actual back of the chair. At this point, we could even move it off to the side. To curve the top of the chair, we'll do fill it with a radius of 3, and I'll do M for multiple. So we can give the back uh, basically the same curve. Okay. In our 3D view, we can see it here. To give us something to sweep around, we'll do a polyline one by one. And we'll do a basic sweep up this curve. Then we can create a line going from the midpoint here over and we could move that straight up something like four inches. Okay. Then we can create another polyline. This time we'll do something like 0.5 by 0.5. And we could center that and sweep it along this line. If we'd like some vertical elements going across the top there, we could do a line coming from this midpoint straight up, perhaps 11. And we'll give ourselves a polyline once again. And maybe this one will do 0.5 as well. And we'll just move it so it's centered. We'll do a sweep. And we could even copy that. Maybe off to the right, two and four, and to the left, two and four. From our uh, other existing profile, we could do an extrude about one inch and we'll just move our new solid shape from the midpoint here till the midpoint here and that gives us our upholstered back and at this point we could simply do a fillet with a smaller radius of maybe like a half an inch pick our shape hit enter and then pick all of the surfaces we'd like to curve, or all the edges rather. Enter. Okay. So then we can grab this entire back and we'll move it from this point here to this point here. Okay. And now, if you'd like to, you could actually union some of those metal pieces together so they're a little easier to deal with. For example, we could say union, and maybe grab these pieces right here, and you'll see when we hit enter, it all joins together. To create a softer edge on our chair, we might say fill it with a radius of one, and we'll pick the cushion and then just get all those edges to round it off so it's a little bit softer and just a little bit more realistic. Okay, 
So if we look at this in a perhaps shaded view, we can see that we have our classic 3D solid dust chair.